Hi, this is amazing Kent. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to do this tedious task, such as this. Right, we want to copy this one. Wherever the category is A, we want to copy it and paste it here. But well, let's do it again, right? Let's copy this and paste it here. And over here, copy it again and paste it here. Right, you do this until the end of it. So how do you do that? So we first we'll create a, a command button here. So let's just show you how to do that. So we go to the developer tab <coughs> and go to insert and click on this command button. Again, right, command button, click here and drag. So you have this data, right? And I'm going to change this by right click on the command buttons and choose properties. And under captions, you can just change anything you like. And then right click here on the buttons and choose view code. And we'll have these informations. And what we do is that first we want to know the last row of this data here. So we're going to use last row and equal and the worksheet name is called data. So we have worksheets. <clears throat> and then we want something from the, we can count something from the end, right? By using A and rows dot count and sl up dot rows so that would be the last row so how do we know whether that is the one right you can use the debug dot print last row so right here we we'll go to view choose the immediate windows in some way so we here right that's one right? so I'll just run this code Yes, 22. What does it mean 22? 22 means here, the last row here. Okay. So we get it. Let's come back here, right? And uh, we want to copy this data here. So how do we copy the data, right? Is that, let's just, we can just remove this. And um, we want something to do a loop by checking each row. So we have the for loop and start with the variables R and start from row two to row two to the last row. So what's the last row? The last row number is right here. So we can just put that, copy this, paste it here. Next R. So this is to check row by row. And for each row, we want to check on the column tree right so count tree so how do we specify that column right we can copy this <coughs> and here the column tree is C and the the row number for the current row is R so using that we can use this if dot value equal to A then we do something right so what do we do So this is A, we will just copy the row. So to copy the row, we make use of this, similar to this, right? And uh, what we do is that dot rows r dot copy. Yes, right. We choose to copy it, right? So let's just do until this run. We'll put it bot here and we run the code. And uh, we... So as you can see that the first row is now copied, but it doesn't paste it to somebody else, right? So how to paste it, right? So we got to say activate the report field report worksheet. So we call it this thing and dot activate. Okay, and we want to paste it to this row, right? Which is the next 
available roles, right? So how do we do that? We use a very similar process, right? Just here. We always want to know the last row in the report, and this is just report. And for this, right, about the same. And so we have this. And finally, we got to um, copy it, right? Copy it to that report dot um, dot range and we we'll basically call this thing here and then finally we paste it to so paste it right we have the uh, active sheets dot paste all right let's take a look right and see if it works so we want this good all right it's all right all right so it does not work somehow it does not work let's see we'll run this so it does work at this sheet dot paste hmm yeah I need to that dot slack right let's run this code right does it work that way worksheets report Hmm, no, 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 this one is to report. So, you report. Alright. So, we run this code. Right, so, it's right here. And, um, we have this range air one. And, um, got a base thing. Alright, it works, except that it replaced the first row. So, what we do is that we plus one to get it right. So, Copy this, paste it here, right? That's the manual step. And then we run it. Paste it. Alright. As you can see it works, right? So every broke so just let it run, right? Yes, that's it. So we just copy all this into the reports. So next is that what if we want to copy instead of copy everything here right we want to copy only the a b a b copy the a b and the e column right how do you do that well we can change this right so this is no longer needed right we we'll just go uh, we can just copy it um uh, copy and paste it somewhere right? so we already have done this this data right here so basically we have this right um we have this data here right it's old. well actually we can just keep it there uh, all we need is just changing this one single row which is this row so instead of copy the entire row right so we decide to remove it put it is commenting it and now what we do is that if we want to just a b and e right so copy a b and e so we put a b and here change it to e <coughs> so let's just delete this right and um And we run this code. Now you can see that this is really just A, B, and paste it here. This is not needed. Okay, these are all for the A category data, so I'm putting it into here. Yeah, that's it, right? So that is um, I have modifications with um, copy only a selected column, so right? you can change that. And and then the the last one we want to explore is that we copy with multiple conditions, right? To have multiple conditions, right, is that here in the comparison here, right? We, what we want to check, right? We look at this column, 
C because it's column C right it's just A and we want to something that is region is the X so what we do is that we can have the same M we put an M functions we use the underscore then you do the next line and right here we change to X and then we can run it right instead of this right we have more conditions to check so we should have lesser rows then hmm. so we're done right so there's none let's see oh yeah that's because we gotta look at C uh, this is look at D column D so as C we'll look at A in column D of the same row we look at X right so this is the multiple conditions right so you have the N functions and we write the code alright so that's it these are the list of them so let's do a recap right um, we we start from doing checking if that row if the category is the A then we copy this and put it right here and that could is show here right and the second modification we do is that we copy only select the columns right so and you gotta change oh yeah that's you change that to this line right you specify which row if it's uh, continuously you can put um, from the starting column and the ending column and the individual column you separate with a comma and the third one is that what if we look at multiple conditions we use the M function and that's it this is how you use a follow and a if functions and the multiple and functions to copy and paste that illustrate how to use the follow and the if thank you very much right so if you think amazing and believe you're amazing you can do amazing things thank you